It is the first day in Vietnam. Solo. Fuck. Yeah, I just realized that obviously I got my pillow completely pink. That's gonna be a charge in the Airbnb. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry if you have white pillows, it's gonna be pink after I'm done with it. So today is number one in Vietnam. I don't wanna show you guys gloomy footage of Vietnam, so I'm just gonna wait until we see some sunshine. And I'm fucking hoping that I didn't come during a rainy season because I feel like that's what I did. This is the adventures of an inexperienced traveler. <laughs> this is the view from my bed. And, okay, so transportation here is gonna be an issue. I was kind of depressed this morning, I was like, I'm like, okay, I'm alone, we know this. But I feel so like, since spending time in Tokyo, I just feel like a permanent foreigner everywhere and I just feel like no one ever speaks English and it's just, I'm giving you my thoughts as an inexperienced traveler. It's hard to feel mm, confident. That's the word, yeah, it's hard to feel confident. I feel relatively confident, confident in America and competent because that's where I'm from, that's what I know. Uh, sorry, I just woke up. I haven't showered since traveling like the whole day yesterday. I'm really disgusting, but you guys, you guys ignore that. I know you do. <laughs> I don't feel like going down and asking someone to drive me around because number one, they don't speak English, and number two, I don't know where I'm going, and number three, I don't, I don't know how, I don't, I don't want them to rip me off, and number four, I don't really feel like going anywhere right now. This is just my wine time, okay? The masked man is coming to meet up with me. I don't know what day or when. We're just gonna pretend like he's not and like um, just be alone and just gain some confidence um, just being alone. Whenever you travel somewhere new, there's always this feeling of like, uh, what have I done? <laughs> because like I'm literally in, in this foreign country I know nothing about. I really don't research much. I probably should. Look at me. People, people probably see me pretty weird. And I have had this feeling like every single time I've traveled, every single time. And I've traveled quite a bit. Maybe not out of country alone as much, but I've traveled to Peru, I've traveled to Ireland, I've traveled to Tokyo, I've traveled to Los Angeles, I've traveled everywhere in America. Um, I went to Mexico. It's like getting out of your comfort zone and that feeling is not always a fun feeling. But once you get over that, which you will have it, you'll be able to grow from it. And so I just acknowledge that feeling as like, Okay, that's my un that's me being uncomfortable, and I have that a lot because I'm a true introvert. I'm not naturally like a super adventurous person, and a lot of people think that maybe I am, but I'm not. I just force myself to do things. That's my little knowledge for the morning. We take a shower, you know, self care. <laughs> I need to like fake it more, be a real like Instagram model, and be like having the best time of my life. Love it here. <laughs> So they, it came in a little bit of a, this, but I can't read Vietnamese and I'm really lazy. I'm not gonna get my phone and look it up. I assume it's instant coffee, so I'm just gonna treat it like as such. This smells like sugar. There's sugar in this, what is this? <laughs> Why can't I escape this sugar? This is another struggle I've been having. I really wanna eat healthy again. But this feels like everywhere is just, not, but I can see the little the granules, the granules of sugar. <sighs> it smells like sugar. Literally, I've been feeling that my diet is not very good. And you guys would be like, yeah, you look it too. This is supposed to be getting up in the morning, being all sweaty and traveling the whole day yesterday. Don't say anything about the way I look right now. Pretty sure this has milk granules in it as well. Fuck, it's hot. I, ouch! <laughs> I need a handle. <laughs> What am I doing? I'm going outside like naked. Like why? You know, never mind. I'm not gonna sit down on the balcony. <laughs> I don't want to be close on yet. I don't want to be out on the balcony naked. You know, someday I will have this this um, whole life thing together. Probably not. Hot. I don't know. Definitely sugar granules. Not sure about. <sighs> this is the content. This is the travel content you can expect here at Victoria. Cause right, <laughs> is there milk granules in this? <laughs> I think I'll go over, after I shower and get around, kind of the cost, the Airbnb, how I got here, all that kind of good stuff. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little apartment tour. That's that, folks. Okay, I'm, so, I'm like I'm like not wanting to like you guys to leave because I'm lonely. Is that weird? My camera? Okay, so I feel a little bit more human. I showered and got around and 
also put all my stuff away, which I think is an important part of trying to make yourself feel more comfortable and at home is to, I never really actually put my stuff away. I'll stay places like a, an entire month and just live out of a suitcase. But I think it's important. Plus, I hardly brought anything I realized, so it was easy. Let's do this apartment tour. I'm gonna show you the apartment and then I'm gonna talk to you about how much it costs, where I found it, and all that type of logistical stuff. So this is the door. And it comes with these shoes, which I guess I'll put on right now. I hate these, I hate these shoes. Um, in a lot of Asian countries, it's pretty abnormal to wear shoes inside. Um, so they have these slipper things everywhere. I don't wanna wear these, these are ugly. Sorry, I'm just gonna go in my socks. <laughs> um, there's two bathrooms. This is bathroom number one. Fucking loud thingy, but the showers here look pretty cool. I got a shower, I used to use this little one. It wasn't adventurous enough for the little one. But yeah, just a bathroom. And then let's carry along. This is where I'm gonna put my makeup on, I decided. A well lit mirror right here. And then there's, this is the bedroom number one that I'm not gonna use. This bedroom, there's two bedrooms here. So this is the second bathroom. Back in here. And I made myself a home here. Indeed. Horrible lighting, but yeah. And this is bedroom number two. It's not a bad bedroom, it's cool. It has a little TV. Then it has a window to the laundry room, which isn't that great, but yeah. Not much to talk about there. Then we come into the main area, which is, this is where I'm gonna be doing my laptop stuff. This is the table. This was the reason, the biggest reason that I wanted to get this apartment because the views. And I imagine it's gonna look really pretty when it's sunny out. It's pretty gloomy, but we're just gonna ignore the road down below. It's kinda of loud down there. But this is the balcony and these are the views from the balcony. This is Halong Bay. Some Asian countries are super compact and small. Like Japan, you felt very claustrophobic everywhere, but this is very spacious and open. Whoa. <laughs> All right, and then the kitchen. The kitchen's nice too. Very spacious. Fridge, microwave. Da, 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 da. Then it has a bunch of um, cups and stuff. More like little bowls. So I guess I'll be eating some soup and stuff there. This, this part is actually really cool. There's an entire laundry room, but not your typical average laundry room. <laughs> Look at this. You just hang up all your clothes here. And then you just roll it back up. Here's the washer. All washers kind of look similar to this in Asia. And then my favorite part of this place is the bedroom. This is the main bedroom. Just ignore my pink pillow, I know. The reason I like this bedroom the most, obviously, is because I can wake up and see the outside. It's hard to see the, how pretty it is on my camera because my camera's lighting's weird, but. And then this is basically all I have in terms of clothes, which is pretty um, not great. I don't even like any of those clothes. So that is the tour of my uh, new apartment, yeah! So my goal in going to other countries is to stay there for kind of a longish time, not just like stay somewhere a week and then move on. Um, the reason you hear a lot of honking is because I've noticed traffic here honks at um, so people riding motorbikes because just to warn them 
that they're coming. So in Vietnam, this is a place that I've never been also. Master Man has never been, so we decided to only stay here for a month. My whole thing, and I haven't really mentioned this yet, is I want to find somewhere eventually that I want to actually live because I don't know if I'm gonna want, I can't just like, I could just travel for the rest of my life, but it's more so I want to find a place that I want to make a base at because that was Los Angeles at first, but now it's not. So I want to figure out what the best places are in the world. Logistics for this apartment. I found it on Airbnb and I didn't know where to go in Vietnam because like I said, I hadn't been here before, I knew nothing about it. So I kind of just looked, looked up some articles and looked at some nice places or pretty places and Ha Long Bay looked the nicest to me because it was kind of near water, which I think is cool, kind of near the coast. And I kind of wanted somewhere like that. So I looked in Ha Long Bay for Airbnbs. The thing about Vietnam is it's really big and really long and, and since I've never been here before, it's just too overwhelming to go through all the Airbnbs in Vietnam. I kind of just had to pick a place because I feel like there's beauty in every place and you just gotta discover it. Decision making is just too complicated and when you limit your choices, it's better. If you guys don't know what Airbnb is, it's kind of like a hotel type of thing, but people are renting out their own places or their apartments or whatever so this is like a condo hotel you can rent this place for like a night or you can rent it for three months i don't know how many months you can rent this particular place for but on airbnb you can rent for extended periods of time we rented this one for a month and if you rent for a month on airbnb you can get like a discount sometimes if you go for a month instead of just doing it day by day i don't know how much it is a night but for a full month is like 600 and fifty dollars it's a two bedroom big apartment with beautiful views in a very beautiful place in vietnam i don't know yet i haven't been outside <laughs> it has a gym it has a swimming pool which i have to find that too they provide towels and all the silverware and plates and everything is provided everything's included you know so it's a good deal for an apartment i was paying 1100 in la for one room in a two bedroom apartment an apartment like this in Los Angeles would probably go for like in a good area, probably $5,000 a month or something ridiculous. So 650 didn't seem too bad for me. I know it could be better. Like I could be staying at hostels for like cheap dirt amounts a month, but I wanted a good place where I could edit, have internet, where I feel inspired and motivated. So I wanted to uh, have my kind of own place. The biggest con of this apartment is that and in vietnam in general I've, I've i've read that transportation's an issue in tokyo it was so nice to have the metro and you could go anywhere there i don't know how i'm going to get around because this apartment really isn't walking distance to a lot of things anyways this video has run on way too long i'm gonna go search for the gym you guys want to keep seeing what vietnam is like continue to tune in and watch the adventures unfold probably will venture out in vietnam and have day or two to three day trips where we do have to like get a hostel or some sort of accommodation like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you very much. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And subscribe if you're new here. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next vlog. To be continued. Don't know what I'm doing. What's gonna happen? I'm scared. Okay, bye.